and it's carving out that space. Modelers had done some simulations saying that with one planet alone, they couldn't carve such a big gap. So probably they need to be more planets, and in particular, a second slightly uh, less massive planet. Making images of exoplanets, so planets that rotate around other stars than our sun, is a big deal because it's hard. It's a little bit like trying to see a firefly right next to a lighthouse at about 800 miles. You need to see something faint next to something really bright. We're talking about planets which are a few hundreds, a few thousand, a few tens of thousands times fainter than their star. We're talking about like a little tiny patch of separation. The brightness of the planet with respect to the star, it's still pretty high. Imagine this young star with a lot of dust and gas around it. And inside the disk, you have some instability that start to make some kind of like vortices that start at their own scale to form objects. Mm -hmm. 